I'm gonna hold on to nuclear raising at home for a little bit. Here, just whatever. You. I don't care. Anyone is fine. Don't care that much. Mr. Brightside. Oh, can marry. Uh, so matrilineal marriage to someone not of our family, but has some genetic traits. Congratulations. Done. I can change this guy's contract. Um, well, we'll go for taxes using a hook. Done. I can use her up a Jarldom. Uh, except I can't because they're fighting a war. Okay. Yeah, I still can't fire the priest. We could assassinate him, but I still can't fire him. It's only two years. Fine, you can stick around for two years. Matrilini and marry priests off till I get them to leave the core. Oh, I see, because they'll go to where their spouse is. Oh! Um... These guys would still be in my court if I did it this way. I'd have to, like, find a foreign ruler. Hey, France. I'd like to arrange marriage. With, um... Hey, you can't just sort... You can't just sort this by name. Right here, this guy. To someone of your court, this lady. So presumably he will move to her territory? He's a good champion, but he's ruining my religious setup. Fuck this guy. They will not accept. Alright. Whatever. Ah, oh, shit, I'm obese again. Uh, I need to burn off some stress. Oh, <gasps> Dynasty Legacy! Oh, I forgot we do have a bunch of the pillaging stuff. Gold from Ransom's increase. Gain prestige when ransoming prisoners. Let's do it. All right, we're going to take care of this bit. This is obviously shit over here. This is unacceptably ugly. We're going to go ju literally just for this county. It's like the pettiest war ever. It's But I don't know. Border Gore Wars are like maybe the most legit CB of them all. We have another child. Cruise Lane! Welcome to the family. Wait, okay, pause. So what I'm gonna do is like right click everyone over here, except for you are gonna go there. And actually we might go and smush some of these dudes. Oh I lost my steward. So we could recruit a twenty. Which I think is what I'm going to do. Because I could assign this guy. He's only a 12, but he's a powerful vassal, yada yada. No, I'm going to recruit this dude. There you go. Keep culture converting, please. You're going to go and uh, smack these guys down. Uh, this one's got a crown, so we're just going to replace me as the commander. Throw someone else in there so I don't die right away. Bruce Lane must be Dutch? Oh, what does it mean in Dutch? Oh, he ran away. I know we'll, we're dying. Some people are dying from moving there. Oh my god. Uh, Marshall died. I know, okay, 20 is better than a 14, but I'm going to take the 6 point hit to assign it to a powerful vassal and keep Duke magic spell Hurlson of Hweiss, which is a member of my dynasty. 
You know, a little bit of nepotism. Okay. Now, internally, like, is gaining and losing weight in this game, is there an internal floating point number that's tracking our, our fat level? Or is it a random chance? Because it might be worth maintaining the losing weight for now. Maybe we maintain it until we literally hit malnutrition and then we, like, cancel it and then probably fatten up again because we're gluttonous. We'll just go to a feast right away. I have no idea. Or if it's just, like, literally just a, you know, um... What's the word I'm looking for? I mean, an integer state is sort of what I meant. I mean, like, a discrete state and just a random chance of moving up and down. We actually don't know. It feels like the fact that it came back right away and also the art on our character was pretty big, even when we didn't count as obese... I think it might be an internal floating point number. In which case, we'll leave the, fl the the losing weight on even after we're no longer obese. All my armies are busy. What a great little thing to be able to quickly see. We can even mouse over and get some extra info on all these things. We've captured some peeps. That's great. That was from battle. Everyone is currently sieging. Love it. Hey, new perk. Excellent. So, we have to go down over here. Restraint, we can get celibacy. Know thyself. Yeah, we're going to get carefree for a new stress gain. It's going to be very, very, very valuable. And we're very eager for something that will burn away a little bit of faith. Oh, I can host a feast. There you go. I was going to say, why didn't I get a pop-up? <clears throat> yeah, it's right there. It just, it just came in. So, we're trying to lose weight, but we're going to host a feast anyway. I'm actually curious as to whether or not we'll get different dialogue in here. Nothing so far. It's all the same. Okay, hold on. We got an army that's idle over here. Let's go and smack these guys down. Tastefully insulting. As plate after plate of food is brought into the Great Hall, an unmistakable smell reaches me, and I smile. That my thick-skinned wife, Queen Alet, is sensitive to lemons is something I sadly forgot to tell the cook. Why am I referring to my wife as thick-skinned? Oh, stress has ruined her opi Oh, she's not doing well. She's really not doing well. Maybe it has to do with the fact that she's had six kids with me and uh, she's gay. Life sucks in the Middle Ages, man. Um, I bid you all welcome and I pray you find the food to your liking. Especially you, Alette. Enjoy. Man, why do I gotta pee? pee becomes my rival! Her face as I save her from the food is definitely to my liking. We cook prestige. I mean, why does it have to be... It sounds like insidious here, and it should be more of a, like... Maybe she's happy. But, I don't know. We cook on her. Alright. Oh! I didn't realize she was, never, she was never of my religion. I don't even have to use the hook. She will just accept. go conversation partner all oh, right yeah we could do the had interesting conversation giving us plus one diplomacy and learning which is really good or we can do some friendship stuff i don't know stats stats are king all of our my army is busy yep you're moving over there which is going to be fine i've gained a level of faith am i maxed out on this i am i'm a religious icon How is he imprisoned? Oh. It's his liege. He probably... Are you... You're not a fornicator or an adulterer. Alright, so I don't think we got any different feast events. I don't think I can ransom him. Are they fighting a war? I don't think murdering him is going to make a difference. Unless he's, my, he's maybe my nephew. One rebelled against the other, perhaps. He sort of brought it on himself here.
your idol. Send you over there. Looks like people are still voting for him, though. Is it internal warring? Yeah. Okay. So it is... This, there is internal warfare. Although... My heir's not on this list, but he might be involved in it somewhere. I'm wondering if the war ends, if he might get released from prison. I'm a little unsure as to what this option is doing, but it seems like the sort of thing we might want to look into. It. Uh, compensation. 100 gold. War continues. Oh, or I'll use a hook. Let's just use the hook. And these guys are idle in places. Oh, I'm at 99%. As soon as the siege ends, or potentially if I boop these guys, that might be enough to... Hey, look, it's that card game. Hearthstone. <laughs> we should conquer Gwent and rename it to Hearthstone. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny, but I really do. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Probably because it's so stupid. Whoa! Nuclear Raisin? Yeah, we have to air you up. Genius, robust, level 4 education, wrathful, content, gluttonous. I mean, those aren't fantastic, but everything else is insanely good. Let's get you married to someone, like, really good. I wonder, if we married you to someone who is attractive, if we might be able to get a triple genetic trait kid. Uh, Fedora over here, m'lady. Um, is full-on beautiful. Oh, she's only four. Otherwise, that would be a good pick, actually. Yeah, let's marry him into someone who's full-on beautiful, so they could inherit full genius, full beauty, and robust, which isn't the maximum. I think this is the tier two, though. I think this is the tier two out of three of the uh, the the prowess trait. I mean, yeah, it would be better if she was Norse, but it doesn't actually matter that much, I don't think. Is nuclear raisin in chat today? Hail robust Herculean. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, it's tier two. I knew it wasn't tier three because I know there's Herculean above it. I just couldn't remember if robust was one or two. Yeah, and I will marry, and then I'll, I'll try to get her converted. Yeah, let, let's go for it. Boom. Demand conversion. She will accept. Perfect. Now. Oh, call hunt. Hang on a sec. Oh, we do have some stress. Let, okay, we'll call the hunt right away. That's fine. My heir is still in prison. I would very much like to work um, Raisin into being an heir. Now, I know one of the things we'll have to do is give him some land. Um, at, at, to make him more electable, period. What we might do is maybe I'll give him this land that we're going to take in a second. Or, or maybe something more value. Maybe I'll give him Lincoln. Which I can't improve currently. Oh yeah, I just hit 100%. Um, hang on, let me finish this battle in case we get a prisoner out of it. Yeah, I can't improve Lincoln because of things, but... And it's the wrong religion and things. Um, maybe I should give him something just that's stable. One of these older places over here we've had forever. It's 100% control. It's Norse Asutru. Um, okay. I will plan maybe on giving him this territory. I'm going to go ahead and uh, work to improve it in preparation for that. 
You know what, screw it. Let's, let's go ahead and improve all the holdings right now. We may not hold them long term, but we've got the money. Visby is... I can't do anything there, and I can't do anything in Oxford because it's rug times the buildings. So I'm going to give Oxford to just someone else. In CK2, having people with higher stewardship um, increased the chance that they converted provinces on their own. I don't know if that's still the case. I guess learning, I think high learning meant auto conversions and high stewardship might have meant um, higher cultural conversions. Let's give it to Arnfast over here. I don't know if that's still an aspect of the game here, but Arnfast seems like a capable ruler. Hopefully he'll bring Oxfordshire forward and become a great part of our nation. Done. And Arnfast, you can bend the knee. Uh, I didn't actually check, but I assume you are. Oh, God damn it, I can't actually click on you here because there's too much shit in the way. Yeah, a Sutra Norse, that's fine. And yeah, we'll get you to bend the knee to the proper duke, that's going to be fine. We have a bunch of prisoners. And disband these troops. So now everything looks a lot better over here, which is nice. We don't have we don't have Cornwall, we don't have Wales. And we don't have Scotland, but otherwise the borders are looking pretty sexy. Uh, Visby, no, is, is completely maxed out. There's nothing I can do there. Everything is everything is done. Uh, I'll be able... There's a couple of level ones left, but we don't have the tech right now. We're working on towards public works, but it's going to take a while. So I can't do anything in Lincoln or Visby. Yeah, I think we'll blot. What we'll try to do... Um, so if we sort by rank, we have a princess who consider, we should be able to blot her for like huge stuff. And she's a foreigner. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and, and plan the blot. Uh, we'll invite everyone for tons of money. Let's finish this and then we'll go ahead and do the, um, the executions. Oh, right, I'm hunting. We ride. Don't do Scotland. I fear they wouldn't do whiskey. No, man, this is clearly, clearly we're going to find our own way for that. My <clears throat> efficient vassal, Chieftain Flamebeard, has been released from his imprisonment and once again is free. Why do I say I'm efficient? Why? I mean, he's got insanely good stats, which is one of the reasons he is currently our heir. I don't know. Waiting for the, the blot prep to advance. No, I'm going to be uh, sacrificing her to the gods. I can't mark her yet. There you go. Tradition matters, the gods will taste human blood. And we could do we could actually do both. Let's just go ahead and do both this time. But I should now be able to flag her as a designated sacrifice. Boom. We're gonna sacrifice a princess to the gods. I'm gonna skip this feast right now. Still trying to lose weight there, buddy. Nope. No longer Brittany, just changed. Yeah, we still got to deal with this one. Um, let's go impress the nobility. Secrets of the body. Uh, ooh, yes. Let's try to see if we can learn a lifestyle perk by poking around with a corpse. Try to get help by our physician with a 70% chance of success. Yes. We might gain ill. We do have some health boosters. I think if we get ill... I think we can we can hopefully just tank that. Excellent, that worked, and we get a free perk out of it. Beautiful. I'll grab. Um, I don't need to rush towards mental resilience, so I don't think we're going to embrace celibacy. Uh, but know thyself will be useful, and I mean we have to go down this branch somewhere, uh, regardless. 
There are some really good things we could be picking uh, down over here. There's like some insanely sick traits. Let's not lie to ourselves, but we're looking for health boosters to make sure we don't die too early and get some problems. So Tuna going back to improvements over here. Um, yeah, hold on on the ransom there, buddy. Just going to make sure the blot messages end. No, it clearly hasn't gone because we haven't killed her. <gasps> Wait, a prince has escaped. Didn't realize we had a prince here, too. But we still have the princess, right? Or did she go? Did she 